It's Gracie and today's video is going to be a Star Wars inspired makeup tutorial. Um, kind of looks like you just finished fighting a Star War, I guess. Maybe you got some galaxy on your face. I don't know. But um, I was going to originally just do like a plum smoky eye. But then I decided to just go all out and, you know, shebang. Do a Star Wars thing. <laughs> There's a new... Um, <laughs> There's a new Star Wars movie coming out, so I thought it would be fitting to do this. And also, if you noticed, behind me I have white paint, or like light gray, and that is the color of my new room, and I'm really excited, and there will be like a room tour or a vanity tour coming out to you guys once my room has been set up. Right now, it's like in complete like chaos, because all the furniture is in the middle, because they just finished painting, but yeah, I'm excited for for my new room, and I hope that you guys are too. And, um, I don't really know if there's anything else I have to say. Oh, except that if you recreate this look, um, make sure to tag it to my Instagram or Twitter. Those are both linked in the description. And, yeah, just make sure to subscribe if you're new, because I would love for you to become part of the family. So, let's get into the tutorial. And boom, we have transformed into the fetus. I know, it's scary. And it's also out of focus. I'm really sorry about that. So I'm starting by using some All May, like, oil-free makeup removing wipes to remove my makeup. And this was such a struggle to get this stuff out. I don't know why. Their packaging is kind of weird. But um, I just removed any of the makeup I had on earlier that day. I had a little bit of um, some brow stuff, some mascara, and a shimmery lip gloss. So it wasn't too big of a deal. But I just wanted to have a clean palette before I started the makeup. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I was originally trying to do like a one brand tutorial for Clinique, so a lot of the stuff I'm using is Clinique. And I am using this makeup bag that my mom gave me. It's a free gift. They always have really good free gifts. So I'm starting by moisturizing with their Moisture Surge Lotion. And I'm pretty sure this isn't oil free, so if you have dry skin like me, this is pretty good for us. But if you have oily skin, just Skip this part because it's not good. So, yay! It went back into focus. I'm so happy. It looks so much better this way. But that is not important. What is important is that we are now priming our eyes with an Urban Decay Priming Potion. I love this stuff. It works so well. And I think I might have the old packaging, which makes me feel really cool. But... Yeah, I really like it. And now I'm adding a bit of my CoverGirl Clean, um, what's this called? C c c concealer. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, and I'm just putting this over the veins of my eyes, because I have pretty veiny eyes, not gonna lie. And then I'm going in with this Clinique palette, and I'm using the color Rock Violet, and I'm using this as my transition shade, shade all over the lid. Sorry for my talking. I'm really bad at talking. And then I'm taking this beautiful, like, plum espresso shade. And this is called Concord, and it's limited edition from Clinique. And I'm just deepening up the crease and kind of defining the eye shape more. And then I'm going to be taking CA Raspberry Beret, I think that is. And I'm just once again defining the eye shape, really kind of truly making this more of a plum look. And I'm then kind of, like, doing this weird thing and trying to remove some of it because I got some of it in my eyebrows and then I just kind of blended it out even more and I kind of do this a lot in this look and I don't really know why I did that. I'm now mixing Concord and Raspberry Beret and I even sprayed my brush with a setting spray because I've heard that tip from Jaclyn Hill a lot and it really brought the purple out in these shades. And these are the only two shades in this palette that were really affected by using a setting spray. I know a lot of people use like MAC Studio Fix Plus. I don't have that. I really want it though. Hint, hint to my parents for my birthday. It's coming up. Um, but I don't know. I thought this just really brought out the purple in these shades and made it look a lot nicer. But all the other shades in the palette weren't really affected at all by setting spray. So now I'm using 06 Pink Chocolate. And this is kind of like a luster, like a slight luster, champagne color. It is beautiful and I love it. The only flaw about this is that it's quite a bit chalky. Um, I don't know why. I'm kind of sad about that. 
but it does have fairly good pigmentation. So I would recommend this as like an all over the lid color. And now, as you just saw, I'm using the shade Royal Couple, and this is shade 24. It is amazing. The pigmentation is amazing, and it has just the slightest amount of sparkle to it. And it's like this beautiful purple icy shade, and I just had a ball with this. It was beautiful. Next, I'm using the Laura Mercier Metallic Cream Eye Color in Alloy. Oh my gosh, guys, please get this. This is something that I want you to get out of this video. Go and look up the swatches of these metallic cream eye colors from Laura Mercier. They are out of this world. They have so many different beautiful shades. And this one was like a copper rustic rose gold. I don't even know how to describe it. it it's like a bombshell silver color. I don't even know how to describe it. Except that it is amazing. Out of this world. The pigmentation is so bomb and it is just beautiful. Now, another product I am so going to rave about. This is the Pearly Pink Limited Edition Clinique shade. This color really reminds me of Star Wars because it is purple, but then it also has like a duochrome blue with it, and it almost has a yellowy undertone, but it's still a cool shade. I don't know how to describe it, but it it's just like a beautiful satiny finish, and I don't know, it's just amazing. And I just use this all over my lid. Side note, I tried this with my setting spray and I wasn't wowed by it. It kind of thinned out the color and the beauty of it. But if you have a really good setting spray, I'd try it out with it. I just didn't really like my results. But let me know in the comments below if it worked with your setting spray and what your setting spray is. And if you don't have a setting spray, then girl, what are you doing? If you want me to make a whole video about setting sprays, let me know in the comments below because I would be so open to doing that. Now, as you saw in the clip before, I'm using pink chocolate in my inner corner, and then I kind of smoked that out onto the bottom lash line, and I'm also using the Royal Couple shade. So now I'm kind of noticing the tutorial's getting a little slow, and I kind of forgot to show you guys what shade I was using, so I'm pretty much just intensifying this, taking some of it off to soften it up, intensifying it over and over again. So I'm gonna skip over to the next step, you guys pretty much got the gist of what to do with the eyeshadow. I pretty much told you guys and talked you guys through it, but yeah, let's get into the next step. A tip that I have for you guys is use your eyebrow smudger or your eyeliner smudger as a brush for your brow highlight, and I just used a goldy like champagne color for mine. Now I'm using an empty eyeliner and I'm doing a cat eye, so I'm pretty much following my bottom lash line up creating a line and then just kind of connecting it, like drawing a diagonal line to the inner corner of my eye. That's how I do my winged eyeliner. If you want a more in-depth video, I will totally do one soon. But I'm using just a mascara and I'm dipping my eyeliner in that. That's what I've been doing lately. I probably need to get a new eyeliner, but it's actually something that works really well for me. And then I went on to make my eyeliner even more dramatic and long, kind of up into my brow. Now I'm using a cosmetics brow crayon and then spooling it through my eyebrows. Once again, if you want a more in-depth look at how I do like my everyday makeup, make sure to leave me a request down below. And now I made sure to get all the fallout from under my eyes away. And now I'm using my CoverGirl Clean Foundation and Concealer. And I'm not gonna get too in-depth into this. I just kind of put it on my face. And now I'm setting this with a Clinique face powder. Now I'm highlighting and contouring with my Bare Minerals like bronzer thing. I'm not sure what the name is. And then I'm adding a nice pink blush from Clinique. I love the color of this. I didn't like it when I was applying it, but now that I'm looking back, it looks really good. Now using my amazing pink eyelash curler, and it also has diamonds on it, guys. It's amazing. It's from Revlon. And a Clinique like feathering mascara, I I think it said, I'm just applying mascara. You guys know how to do this, it's easy. Just put this on my shoulder, okay. Now to add more of like a galaxy-esque look to this, kind of like the stars, I'm contouring with a bunch of different blues. I kind of just swirled my brush around in this big palette from somewhere very inexpensive, I don't remember. And then I'm dabbing glitter mascara onto my face. And to finish it all off, I'm adding MAC Heroin Lipstick, great lipstick by the way, and on the inside I'm adding Clinique Pink Beach, which is one of my favorites for everyday wearing, 
and you know these are just such a great combination as you can see it looks amazing and you are done yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed it i love you all so so much goodbye